Here we go, everybody. It is another rousing, another amazing Portal 2 tutorial. Kuna93, I was actually planning on doing a Crusher anyway, but hey, I appreciate the motivation. Let's do it. And you know what? I'm going to do a blanket apology for all these tutorials that if my voice is just too loud and piercing, I've been told it all my life, so I'm not surprised. So you can see, oh, look at that. And then it goes, and I got some noises on it, and then it's going to kill me. I'm going to turn down my speakers, so you probably couldn't hear them anyway. Anyway, all right, let's do it. I'm going to do this in three stages. First, I'm going to show you how to, uh, there we go. Uh, that is not it. There you go. Let's do a new map here. Oh, there we go. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to just build your Smasher, and then get it all animated and everything. And then I'm going to show you how to uh, add the sounds on it, and then go and embed it into the wall by binding the textures to it. Now, if all that you already know how to do it, I'll show you how to do the beginning part, so it's totally fine. If I go too fast on anything, it means I've already covered it in previous tutorials, alright? So, build your box. Because that's one of the things, one of the reasons why I started making tutorials is that the ones that were out there, sometimes they would skip over the part that I would understand the least, the quickest, because apparently I was already supposed to know that. And I found it very frustrating. So then, here we are. Here we are! Um, so yeah, because all this stuff, I've gone over it a lot in the, in the moving panels, because it deals with a lot of prop dynamic nonsense. So, build a prop dynamic. Apply. You should open up your model viewer and pull up the crusher. Hooray! Wall Smash A, that's the guy I'm going to be using. And it's idle is Wall Smash A idle. I don't need to set up a bind on it, because it's already nice and pretty. Okay, so let's name it. Well, first I'm going to pick the Crusher MDL, and then I'm going to name it Crusher. Again, if I'm going too fast over this stuff, it means I already went over it in a previous one. Start disabled, whatever. Uh, hold animation. Why, yes. Hold it. And you want to go to Collisions and set it to not solid. This fofo ain't solid. And then I'm going to go, whoops. I'm going to try and find it. It's underneath. That's fantastic. Okay, and then I'm going to go and double click on it. And I'm going to set my animation, my default animation, to wall smash A. Because I already know, because I checked, because I know it's what I want. Apply. Hey, all right, look at this. Wow, I fit this perfectly. Look at this. Boom. Well, that could be a little closer. A little closer. Perfect. Right? Well, I'm going to give it a little more, and then I'm going to do that. Cool. All right. So that means I've got it fitted up, so it's going to smash in the perfect position. Now, I know my idle. All I have to do is add idle. But, I mean, pretty much, you know, if you were over in it, you could choose any one you want. Smash idle, smash out. So idle is the smash out idle, smash out idle, smash big, wall smash A, smash in, all that sort of stuff. It's all related. And uh, the whole thing, I'm going over it again. If you don't want it to keep repeating its animation when it's in there, you have to keep it at idle when it starts. Very important. Okay, so that's on there. So let's just go and set up the crusher. That's it. Let's just do that to start. How about I go and I make it so it's on the actual ground? I think that sounds like a great idea. Uh, I think that looks good. Okay, go to Browse and find No Draw. And then go and do a, a, a block. A brush, as they call it. Now this is going to be your hurt. This is going to be your trigger hurt. Now what I've learned with this is your trigger hurt has to be at least 64 thick. So I'm going to make this like 80. And I'm also going to make it a hell of a lot wider than it used to be because I'm doing a tutorial and I don't want to have to keep resizing my trigger hurt so it hits it. But um, there is an exact measurement and you just have to take time and do trial and error. So hit that, control T, trigger hurt. Give it a name, well apply it, and then give it a name, I'm going to do crusher hurt. Crusher hurt. And then the parent is going to be the crusher. Apply. So then damage is going to be 1000. I just spit on myself when I said a thousand. That was disgusting. And then damage type or whatever the hell. Damage cap is a thousand. Damage type is crush. Cool. So there is that. Now let's do our logic auto. Logic autos are what you use to make it so the textures stay binded to the surface. Whoops. Um, again, come on, guys. I already went over this. Don't be making confused sounds over there. I can hear it. On map spawn. You want to do crush your hurt and you want to set. Parent, attachment, maintain, offset, and you want to do it base attach. 
Now, all these prop dynamics, you know, all the ones over in the model viewer, they all have a different, like, moniker or whatever on how you attach it to the surface. With this particular model, it's base attach. You can go to the, um, to the Valve wiki, the developer wiki or whatever, and then they have them all listed there. Okay. So now let's go, and let's just set up our trigger. You can trigger it to a button or whatever, you know, but I'm actually going to do a trigger that you walk over. I could have kept it at no draw and then just assigned it to it, but hey, what are you going to do? Hmm, I'll do there. And I'll do a little bit taller. Excellent. And that will be trigger multiple. And I don't need to give it a name, start disabled, whatever. Before it's reset, I'm going to give it three seconds. And then my output, on output. So I'm going to do on trigger, crusher, set animation, wall, smash A. Ooh, yeah. There you go. Ta-da. Ta-da. And then one thing I wanted to do, go to the trigger hertz, start it disabled. This makes it a little bit more streamlined, if you know what I mean. So it's disabled, and I'm going to go to my trigger multiple, and then add it when it's on, whoops, when it's on trigger, I'm going to do crush your hurt, and I'm going to enable it. And then I'm also going to do it on trigger, and do crush your hurt, and then I'm going to disable it after 0.5 seconds, because I've already checked, it takes about 0.5 seconds for it to complete its crush. So you won't get hurt if you happen to jump out of the way, and you get hit on the way back, you won't die. Okay, and then I also want to go, and I'm going to take this guy, this um, trigger, and I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste him right there in front of the player. So that means you can go and see it crush without having to die every time. So let's test this out. So go save it, load it up, ba-boom. So then the whole thing is that pretty much that's your basic crusher. If that's all you wanted to know is how to do what I just did, you know how to go and bind it and put it in and make it so it looks all pretty and do the sound, that's it. That's all you got to know. I have finished my job. But if you want to stay, after this, I'm going to show you what sounds I used and how to do that. And then after that, then I'm going to go and like make it so it's hidden like you saw at the beginning. It's amazing, I know. I know, I know. So there you go. Run over it. And it's a crushing. And I'm still here. I'm still on the trigger. It's still going. And let's go over it. And I'm going to die. Nope, I didn't die. Try it again. Uh-oh. Somebody messed up. <laughs> Oops. So to me, that means that my trigger, my trigger hurt is too small. Because I was standing right here. And this trigger hurt just isn't catching me. It's a pain in the butt. I tell you, it's a pain in the butt. Let's see. Start disabled, yes. And when you get this, you enable it, right? Output, enable. Enable, crush your hurt. Well, let's give it another, let's give it a second before you, um, before you kill it. Ten seconds, that's a little long. I've had issues with, with, uh, the trigger hurt activating. So let's make it even thicker. And then let's make it a little bigger, too. I mean, it's already freaking huge, but... Just want to make sure that we get hurt when we do it. I mean, it's there because I jumped up and it and it nabbed me. But I mean, this is just it's it's a pain in the arse. I tell you, I tell you. Sorry to know that works. That's fantastic. Good, perfect. All right. So there you are. Now I'm on to stage two. Let's uh let's add the sounds. So I'm gonna go and kill this guy. Because I'll go and I'll make him again later. So I'll first go and just do a sound. It's going to be ambient generic. Now if I go too fast on this stuff, guys, it's going to be the same thing. Um, I already went over this in another tutorial. So if you don't get it, just go back and watch that bad dog. Crusher slide. And now I'm going to choose the sound name. And I already know which sound name I want to use. I want to use Crusher Open. Okay. And I'm not going to change any of the properties or anything. I'm going to move it right in the center. So it's, it would pretty much sound like it would, you know. It's coming from there, but it's pretty loud. Because the thing is that you can go to flags, play every for all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to do that. And then I'm going to copy and paste that right there. And then I'm going to make this one another ambient generic, but this one's going to be Crusher Impact. And because I've already done this with trial and error, I know that the one I want is Coop TB Maze Crusher Impact. 
hooray. Great. So these two guys are there. Now I want to go back to my trigger, go to the outputs, and then on trigger, crusher slide, play sound. And I don't want any delay. Now I want to do it again on trigger, crusher impact, play sound, but then I want to give this one a 0.5 second delay. Cool deal. So that means it's going to slide, it's going to go boom, everybody's happy. That's it. So I'm not going to go and do it again if you guys just want to know the sound. That's it. Now you have your two sounds that are on there. They're connected. They'll go. Put your trigger with whatever, whatever you want. Could be a button. Could be a thing that you walk over. It's all good. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to make it so it's like hidden in here. So let's do it. I'm going to go to my block tool and I'm going to go and go back to the texture I've been using. Now I've been using this guy. I think I just passed it. Here. And I'm going to do the block tool, and I'm going to basically en encompass it so it's totally covered up. This is not tall enough. Is that on the floor? Yes, it is. Cool, that side's good. Copy and paste that. Slide that bad dog over here. And then make it so it's in the proper area. Cool. And you know what? For ease, I'm actually going to make my ceiling lower. That's a little low. All right. And then now what I want to do is now you got to put the texture and then bind it on in the front. And now you go got to go back here and pick a no draw again. No draw. And then this one's kind of a pain in the butt. You want it to be exactly the size of the front. And it's got to be directly on it. So i got to resize this. Okay, well, hold on a second. There's an issue with all this stuff. First off, I need to move these guys out a little bit. Want them to match each other. I think they do. Okay, so that looks good. And then now I want to go back to my no draw. I want to go back here. Okay, good. It's still there. And you can zoom in and sort of see. If I make it right here, see, that's why I, I extended them out a little bit, because if I make it right here, it's going to show, you're going to be able to see the spikes at the very end of it. All right, you see all that? So I'm going to put this out a couple more, which is why I extended this out. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to enter that, and then I'm going to browse, and I'm going to find my texture again. I'm sure there's an easy way to do this, but I don't know. I mean, pretty much everything in these tutorials, that's all the shit I know. I don't know. I, you know, like I just figured this, figured out and learned how to do this this morning. All right, there's that. And go over here, apply current texture. Cool. So that looks pretty good. It looks like it should be fitting. So now what I want to do is I want to make everything fit this guy perfectly. So I got to go to this side one right here and move him in. And I want to go to the top one and then move him down. Mm hmm. I went to the wrong top one. But I had one in here. No, I didn't. Okay, whatever. You can go and put an additional one in there if you want, but I'm just going to keep doing this. And then this side view isn't on it either. So let's move that guy in too. Great. So it's totally on there and you shouldn't be able to see it. Now we gotta go back to this guy, to the no draw, and you wanna make it a funk brush. Apply it. Let's name it. Well, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it Crusher Brush. And then you wanna set the parent to the crusher. And now in order to bind that on there, you got to find the logic auto and then just copy and paste this bad dog. And instead of it being crusher hurt, make it crusher brush. So that means as the crusher moves, it's going to be bound on there. And let's go and grab this and then paste it there. So that means as you go over that, it'll, it'll 
get it as well and then you know what let's add a few lights all right apply and then I'm just gonna copy and paste some guys out here without worrying about how good they look cool couldn't do the map that means I have I have I uh, I like made it so the prop dynamic or whatever is outside of my world. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a jury rig because I don't feel like having to redo all this because it's just a tutorial. I'm going to just do this. There's an easy way to do it. You can just resize a few things, but I'm going to be lazy. So I'm just going to do that. Because basically that makes it so the whole thing that I've been doing is within my world. But you can't have the luxury to do that if your map's, you know, large. Okay. Hmm. So, looking good. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, I guess I, uh... <laughs> guess I hit the wrong wall there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fix that and then I'll be done. Then I'll be done with this just exquisite and seamless tutorial. So, what the hell did I do? So, this guy... This guy is not a funk brush that's parented. This is not named Crusher Brush. This does not have a parent. Okay. And let's go to this one. That's the one I want. So this is a funk brush. And that's going to be funk. No, it's going to be Crusher Brush. And then you can set the parent. To Crusher. Great. That should be it. Let's try that again. That's probably why it failed because because uh, I set it up so it was going to move the whole wall in. <laughs> that was pretty cool looking though. You gotta remember uh, remember you can do that with any with any texture. You don't even have to do this no draw BS. Just go and just go and set it. So there we go. Looks good. It's a little thick. You know you can change that if you want. And, yeah, look at that. It's, it's pretty right on. I guess it's not perfect. You know, you could just go and then mess with it, and then it goes and it kills me. Cool, guys. Well, that is it. I hope that uh, enlightened your life. <laughs> okay, I'm out.